Public uh, Access Coordinator for NORCAM, North Reading Public Access. And I'm here with a voluntary board member of uh, the Food Pantry, Ed McGrath. Ed? Thanks, Phil. Good Thanks. to be here. Thank yeah. you. Uh, lovely to have you. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the North Reading Food Pantry. So, I mean, yeah. I guess I'll start out like you're a volunteer uh, board member. You were a board I, member before. I was a board member, and then I got, an, got a job um, working, and I can't make the board meeting. So, yeah. um, Ellen Wilansky just said, we'll make you a non-voting board member. So, I still volunteer. I work uh, when I can and provide and help out whenever I can. And Ellen asked me to... Uh, do this so do this, here yes. I am and Ellen's very nice and I knew uh, we knew Sandy before too yep, the yep. former um, uh, director is that what yeah uh, executive yeah. director executive I guess director. is what the official title oh good well so. you know thank you for coming <clears throat> yeah. and you know people some people vaguely know have a recollection some people have worked with the food pantry we at Norcam we've worked with them before on a couple of videos and just some other you know multimedia stuff but if someone were asked you what the food pantry was what would you tell them well I don't think people realize that the food pantry has been around uh, for more than 40 years. It started in 1974. Um, we provide emergency uh, assistance to residents of North Reading. That's, mm -hmm. we just, that's, we're just, uh, you have to be a North Reading resident or a member of a church in North Reading. And um, the food pantry is our most visible program. And so we provide food. Um, we're open every Monday. You know, we're part, we're part of this network. Um, people hear these bigger names, the Greater Boston Food Bank. We're affiliated with the Greater Boston Food Bank, which is affiliated with Feeding America. So we're in that network of uh, organizations. We're the grassroots, obviously. Um, Got to go to the uh, Boston, Boston Food Bank uh, supplies for pretty much the state. Or at least just a nug, pretty oh, much the Greater Boston area. Oh, Greater Boston yeah, area. Yeah, they're located down in, in Roxbury. They have a big yeah. warehouse. So. Yeah, no, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's a beautiful facility, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's huge. It's yeah. huge. It's beautiful. And, and the food pantry is basically, it's operated by the Christian Community Service Organization, which is a coalition of all the churches in North Reading. And, you know, the, everybody, each church is represented on the board. And so there's, you know, we do a spiritual, we do stuff, uh, the Christmas on the Common at the lighting ceremony. We do, we do a sunrise service at Easter. Um, but the, all these churches are involved. Uh, and, and help out. There's volunteers from all the churches that help us out in various forms. No, it's great. And you don't have to be a member of the church to volunteer either. No. No, and you can just yeah. go in and, and just be a part of it. But yeah, yeah you were, I remember you telling me uh, before a meeting we had that it, was it, it, came, it coalesced. Like the food pantry isn't the only thing you do, but that's like the most popular thing. That's the most, probably the most popular, most visible that, yeah. that the general public sees. Um, you know, because we're always... And as I told you, we're we're fortunate. We have, we belong. We're a part of a very generous community, and um, so we we have you know we put give out food. You know the clients come in um, twice a month. Twice a month, uh, we're open Mondays mornings from eight. To, uh, excuse me, nine to ten on a Monday. Yeah. On Mondays, and then the first and third Mondays evenings from seven to eight. So some of our clients can't get there during the day. I mean, a lot of some, there's many of our clients have jobs. They just don't make enough money to keep all, to put food on the table, keep the roof over the house, yeah. and the heat, and all that all that goes with that. So, so. it's like every Monday from nine to ten at uh, the town hall. Right? Yep, right. And uh, which is pretty much uh, the gym attached to the town hall. It's it's the old you know town hall was an elementary school. It yes. was the multi-purpose uh, cafeteria, gymnasium, oh, so and bizarre. auditorium. Yeah. And we have now, we, the stage, the town uh, boarded up the stage, and that's where we're located. So, you know, when you go in on, on a Monday, if you walked in the gym from the parking lot, <clears throat> you know, we have tables set up. We have uh, a row of tables with meat, dairy, and, pro and meat, dairy products. We have another table with, um, like, muffins and bagels and Donuts that we get from Heavenly Donuts provides it. Starbucks has provided donations. We have a table that's produce, fresh produce. And we have another table that's breads, and that's just in the gym. And the clients come in, they check in, they they register with the meat, the, what, what's avail, what we have available, tell them what they want, put their list together, and then they pick out all the other stuff. And then they get to go up into the pantry and do their shopping, if you will. And um, they can take as much as they need. We don't, you know, we, we 
count the bags because we have to kind of give it, keep track of about how much we distribute. But it depends on the size of your family and how many people. If it's a single person by themselves, they get one shopping list. If you have a family of five or more, you get another shopping list. And if there's children in the household under the age of 18, we provide extras in forms of uh, milk and juice and school snacks and cereal and you know, so it's so it's it, it's gauged by how big your how much you take is based on how much how many people are in the home that yeah, we're you're servicing. You need, yeah. yeah, yeah. And also, I remember you saying, and uh, uh, people at the food pantry have always told me, not only it's not only covering food, it's covering uh, things like hygiene products, like yep. toothpaste, yeah. paper towels, and other cleaning supplies that aren't covered by uh, was it SNAP? SNAP is the, yeah, the old food. food people better know it's better as food stamps. Yeah, you can't use um, SNAP benefits for taxable items. So, you know, tooth, you think about the basic personal hygiene, toothpaste, yeah. deodorant, shampoo, toothbrushes, soap, you know, and then even in the paper goods, toilet paper, you know, this time of year, tissues, every, you know, it's the cold and flu season, yeah. tissues, paper towels, all these things. Um, Do you offer any, like, uh, aspirin or anything like that? Or is that, uh, like, no, we kind of stay away, we kind of yeah, stay yeah. away from, we try to stay away from that no, type of stuff, but. <clears throat> you know, so yeah. those are the type of things, you know, we try to help out. And the idea, um, you know, if, if you can provide someone with a tube of toothpaste or, you know, shampoo or something, that, and they can't, they can't, then it's money they can use at the store to buy a food item, yeah. you know, try to help or them out. Or gas or something. Yeah, or yeah. gas, exactly. We, we end up, we estimate, depending on the size of the family, um, every, when the client leaves the, leaves the food pantry, they go away with anywhere from fifty to hundred dollars worth of groceries, for, and that's once every two weeks. Yeah. So uh, we're we're helping fill the gap. Um, we also give out uh, cards. We have we give out gift cards, if you will. Um, stop and shop and market basket. It's ten dollars a month for each family, and if there's children under eighteen, they get additional cards to help you know feed these kids and. Um, so it's, you know, that's, yeah, that's a lot, a lot where the money goes to. People ask, yeah. what do you do with the money? There's a lot, that's what we, we buy those cards. You know, you know. So have to maintain, like, um, pretty much the fridge. You have a giant fridge. Yeah, we were fortunate. The North Reading Rotary Club, mm -hmm. um, a couple of years ago, donated a, um, a commercial freezer and a commercial refrigerator. So the way we, the way we get our stuff, you know, if you... You know, the residents, North Reading residents know there's drop-offs at the Flint Library, Post Office, Town Hall, and the table in the front at Stop and Shop. We get a lot of, we get donations there. Um, they all get picked up and brought to the food pantry. So on Friday morning, volunteers work, sort through this food, stock the shelves. There are people, a couple people take their trucks, personal vehicles, drive down to Boston to the Greater Boston Food Bank, pick up, we're averaging these days about 1,200 pounds of food. Oh, wow. I've, been, I've done that a couple times in the past, and it's like two pallets of oh, yeah, cases it's and a stuff. Huge warehouse yeah, much. Just and you, we're over. picking up meats, um, we're picking up produce, or dairy. We all pick up some dry goods too if we need it, or if it's, even if it's available for for free, you know, we'll, we'll go, we'll take that. It all comes back, so all the frozen stuff is put in the freezer, refrigerated stuff is refrigerated, so that, you know, that's been able to expand, help us expand our offerings, because, the, you know, we're trying to provide healthy meals. Which is and a great distinction. Yeah, and the food bank has got an initiative um, to provide fresh nutritional food to the client, so it's, it's not just, you know, feed, you know, it's not just like all TV pasta dinners, and peanut butter. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're trying to give give people choices, and I, I, I think they got a pretty good, it's not, you know, major shopping, shopping thing, but there's choices. They have choices. So, um, but anyway, so Friday, we, we put all that together, so we get ready for Monday morning, and Monday morning, we're in there, we set up the gym and open the doors, and off we go. Yeah, so it's every uh, Monday morning, 9 to 10 at the Town Hall, and uh, the first and third, uh, first Monday and third Mondays, yeah. Month yeah. At the uh, evening, 7. 7 to 8, yeah. 7 to 8. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's when uh, people can come in. Yep. And uh, they can grab uh, twice a month. Twice a uh, month. Yeah, once every other week, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And the thing that always uh, fills my heart with a bit of glee, and uh, be it dark times or whatever, the volunteers you have, and talking about volunteers going like yourself or <coughs> others who yeah. go down to Boston, uh, Greater Food Bank, or even just at uh, the food pantry in North Reading, 
they'll sit there and they'll sift through donations. And I've been there, you know, gathering footage and just seeing it for myself and, and I guess helping out a little. People looking at expiration dates right. and just like sorting out like, oh, this, you know, this goes in, uh, you know, canned vegetables or this is like right. cranberry sauce or anything like that. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, but there's, and they don't, you know, no one gets paid. It's all volunteers. It's all volunteers. Um, I don't know how many people are on the volunteer list right now. Um, there are a good amount of people there, out there. There's a there's fair like amount of people, right and the people there. are working anywhere from, some people are working 15 to 20 hours a week. Wow. Some people, it's 15 to 20 hours a month. It varies what, what people can do, what their availability is. There's some people, um, you know, like myself, who are available, can only work Monday evening. So I'm there the, on the Monday evening shifts. And maybe if it's a holiday, Monday, if we're open on a holiday, Monday that's a holiday, I might show up then too. Um, so that's the type of thing. Friday, there's a whole crew of people. And like yeah. you said, we have to check every package for an expiration date. Um, and we kind of manage our inventory so if canned goods dated, you know, now we're getting up to 2000, you're starting to see 2019, 2020, yeah. we'll put those in the back and get rid of the newest, just like a grocery store the 18th, one. Yeah. And if there's something, there's a, the Greater Boston Food Bank provides us guidelines. Um, some food items that are expired are still fit for human consumption, and they, they have guidelines that we follow. And in the food pantry, we have a shelf so the resi the clients know this. We call it a help yourself shelf. <clears throat> they know it's either um, ex recently expired or it's just not stuff that we at don't. At your own risk. Yeah, well, that, at your risk. <laughs> well, no, yeah. No, no, yeah, but you know, it might be something. It might be travel size soap too. I mean, oh, it's all yeah. these little things. It just does that go towards the the general? No, they no, get, they get two like, bags. They can oh, take okay. two yeah. plastic shopping bags, fill it. Fill them and that as much as they want from those shelves. And you just, like you said, you just take stock in the the amount in the bag just so you we can tell the We just count the bags. We bag. just count the bags. Yeah. So how many bags oh, it's each bag? Yeah. We don't we don't count each item. We just yeah. what's the bag and. Because you need to know to tell Greater Boston Greater Food Boston Bank how much like, we're distributing. We, you know, yeah. we keep track of how many what we gets what gets donated and what what gets distributed. So a lot of math, but just yeah, well, yeah. it's a lot of work for people to do. And you, uh, if you were to say. Uh, as far as like for people donating, what advice would you give to them, or what guidelines would you give to them for people donating? Um, Be it money or food. Well, if it, let's let's stay with uh, donating uh, food. It's like quality is always good. Yeah. Um, think about what you're eating and what your your kids are taking to school. If you have children, you know what what would be good. And you know if you see some two for one, you know those are the type of things we can use. Um, shampoo, all the shampoos. Yeah. Hand creams, you know, you think about this time of year, what people are using, you know, tissues. I remember a couple mm -hmm. of years ago, we had like one box of tissues, and I had a post on our Facebook page, it's the cold and flu season, we need tissues, you know, yeah. and just to stock the shelves, you know, and I mean, those are the type of things if we need something, we usually, when we buy, buy product, it's usually food, we're running low on something, it could be cereal, a type of some cereals, it, whatever, we'll, we'll buy that, so we have, the clients have it, but you know, any taxable items, like I said, and it's just everyday household stuff, and it's and it's the food items, you know, it's what do you make for a meal, you know, and um, it's true, that's how it? I look at it, it's, oh, this no, is on I, sale, I five for, yeah. five for, you know, ten bucks, I'll buy, you know, I'll, I'll do that, you know, and it's like, yeah, know, what would so, you eat, what do you enjoy, and what's yeah, healthy, and yeah. what's the, you want, you know, what would you feed, I think that's a great line, you were saying, what your kids are eating, what yeah. would you, what would you have someone and it's like, else's kids and eat? And what's a protein, yeah. you know, think about a yeah. meal, a protein, what's a good protein, you know, there was a story one time where there was a family that, it wasn't their week to go to the food pantry, and they're out of food, and they were having peanut butter for dinner, oh. and breakfast, and you know, it's, so it's just thinking of those. That's how I, I look at it, because um, I I make donations too. But that's how I look at it, you know. Yeah, and you see it, and yeah. You, and you hear the stories, right? But we we get help. You know, we get help from a lot of groups. <clears throat> you know, um, Amazon over on on Concord Street used to be Kiva. They're unbelievable. Oh, nice. um, the North Reading High Student Council does a month long oh, yeah, month long collection in the fall. And there was one year they were greeting people at Stop and Shop with a shopping list, and the people could come out and give it to them. Oh, that's right? awesome. Yeah, it was great. Um, with Girl Scouts are really good. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave out some, some oh, the people. Batch Elder, the Batch Elder. The Batch Elder. All the schools are yeah. great. Um, you know, we just have, um, who was the post office is what I was thinking oh, okay. of. The post yeah, office, great, uh, uh, in May they yeah. do that pickup, leave the food by your mailbox, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they drop it off. 
you know, those are the type of things where we, the volunteers are in there on a Saturday afternoon taking all those bags, checking everything and stock, you know, dealing yeah. with it. Um, you know, all these different groups helping out. The churches all take a month, you know, have a month where they do the collection. You know, so we get a lot of, we're, we're, it's, I can't say it enough how fortunate we are to be in this community and how generous the residents and the business businesses are in this community to support us. No, and it's great. I remember reading in the pamphlet and the stuff uh, you gave me, the notes, and also just chatting with you about roughly 100 families, yep. give or yeah. take, or what. And it uh, fluctuates, yeah. Yeah, no, I know. And it could be a senior citizen on a fixed income. It could be a, a family with, um, you know, someone's out with a work injury. Could be someone, you know, so there's some people are still working, and or you might have just lost your job, and it's we're filling a gap. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly, a so, transitionary period. Yeah. Well, and it's only there's the stigma of it that you have to get around because it's just a sense of you know people fall in hard times or they just need help. Everyone, yeah. and that's the one thing I will say. Um, yeah, you have to echo time and time again. Uh, not everyone can do it all by themselves. Yep. And that's that's uh, a key uh, a key thing. And one of the things, so for volunteers uh, on going to, from like what people should donate or what um, they should do as far as like giving food, or, and you can make a, a monetary Right, well that, too, that's right? a big, you know, we're, we just finished Neighbor to Neighbor, the North Reading Transcripts has been oh, running yeah. that fund, and I think it was $37,000, wow. $35,000, $37,000 this crazy. year. You know, yeah, it's is that know, around Christmas time. Or yeah, it's just yeah. it's the it's the month of December. They started yeah. right at I think right after Thanksgiving and right up through the first of the year, and and you know that has been huge for us. That's and crazy. That's been able to us to help, um, you know, clients, you know, have, have be able to help when you know we you had mentioned financial assistance. You know, if a client comes in, and you know needs help, whether it's their rent or their electric bill or. Yeah utility bill something you know they come to us for asking for help this having this funds helps us help these people um, you know they have to be a regular client of the food pantry and we vet them I mean we need to see their budget well, and their bills enough. yeah that's you know, so thing so it's not just we just we just don't people just don't walk in ask us for money <laughs> and we're not you know, yeah. if, if so if a client says I need my electric bills past due I need help yeah. well, we, we'll pay the reading reading light we'll send we'll pay the bill directly to reading light or pay the rent to the landlord whatever we don't it just we'll t we'll cover them to help them get over the hump a little bit we're not there to we're not the there not every, you know, it's not like every month we're no, the same no. people. No, so. when you can and because yeah. you have to service, you know, up to 100 families. Yeah. So you have to pick and choose, yeah. too. And we've helped people um, with automobile repairs. You know, yeah. someone's got a job, but the car broke down. They need the car to get to the job, you know, whether it's a new tire or whatever. You know, we'll yeah. help with that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what is, so what is the process with that? What is the vetting? They process? have to come in um, and sit down with their, their volunteers that serve in that role, and they what's going on and, and what's the bill, bring in your bills and what's your budget and we see what's going on and we see what we can do to help you. And, uh, you know, I, I've heard stories that some people have been declined for what various reasons and, you know, but we're, we're not there to, we're there to help, but we're not, we're not yeah. a soft touch, if you will. Well, no, and, <laughs> you know? I, and I think you have more <clears throat> if you teach people how yeah. to budget themselves. Yeah. And it, it's always the thing, I was talking to a friend of mine too about the, uh, we, we saw this bleak movie, not to give it, uh, this movie, it, uh, it Comes at Night, about post-apocalyptic themes, and just how, like, people can be pretty bleak according to, like, being scavengers yep, and just yeah. working for what they can. But it, you have to work within your means, and you have to always know, like, what you're capable of and what, what you can do. Yeah. Especially if you're, you know, you're just scraping by or you just need some help. Yeah. And if people need to ditch something in order to, say, you have to get a... Uh, a lesser cable plan or a lesser uh, phone plan. You have to do it in order to, you know, you got to sacrifice a little. Yeah, but, and we help with that tough love. Well, you know, you no, know, but it's it's also a sense of like, hey, you know, part of you still has to grow up in that aspect. Yeah, I, I, I believe sometimes the infantilization of what you need as opposed to what uh, you desire. Yeah, and I think that's yeah. an important thing to kind of, and you know, I, I I'm a hippie in my core, so I understand. <laughs> Uh, but I also, you know, you have to work within what you have. It, it's not magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. We, you know, we're, we're here to try to help people and, you know, get them, get them straightened out and help them, like, manage, manage their situations as best they can. And uh, hopefully, you know, we've had people come in, show up for the food pantry for a couple times, and 
you know, then they got they got righted. You know, I, I remember a couple coming okay. in the first time and they were embarrassed. They were upset that they had to rely on us. And I said to the, I said, don't worry, we're just, this is just a, you know, we're here to help you up. And, yeah. and then a couple, that was it. They got back, he got another, you know, they got jobs and they were on their way. So it just, it works out, you know, and yeah. some people, so we're, we're, you know, we're just there to help. And that's the whole thing is, you know, I don't think people realize in a town like ours and in, in our surrounding communities that there is this need. You know, there's a hundred, yeah, you say a hundred some odd families and, you know, it is, you know, there, there is a need there. It's, it's food insecurity and where, you, you know, you're going to have enough to put, you know, meals. And, you know, when you think about if, with children during the school year, the school department helps out with the lunch program. But come summertime, now all these families have seven more meals per child to provide. They have to take care of, yeah. You know, so it's just, you know. That's a big. That's a big challenge. So. No, it's great. Then, like you said, people can seem embarrassed or fearful of it, especially kids. And I remember our conversations when I asked you about, uh, do you have a teenager you volunteer? And you said, well, not when giving out. Yeah. Right. Uh, not when people come to get the food. And and that's I'll put it out there right now. Like anyone who wants to volunteer, they can just contact. Uh, they can go to the website. Go or? to the website. Um, there's an email. And we'll get, and then we'll just, there's email, there's a phone number. Yeah. There's, it's not manned all the time. It's volunteers. But you can leave And message, they'll get that. Yeah. Or on Facebook. You can message us yeah, on Facebook, yeah. uh, North Reading Food Pantry. And, um, you know, that's, there's plenty of ways to get a hold of us. And, and then we'll see what's, you know, which, what do you want to do and when you're available. And, you know, there's some people, you know, have helped out in the past, even high school kids, you know, just picking up the food at the library and at, post office and getting it over to town hall for Friday you know yeah. it's something like that or it's well you also have a drop off in town hall town like hall so right they could before you feasibly, yeah. but that's the idea is getting yeah. this people drop off say at Flint library it's going there whatever's been collected in the boxes there in the side by the side entrance and getting it over to town hall so it's there Friday yeah. when we do all the stocking of the shelves and stuff that's what we're trying to do yeah anything like <clears> that anything like that can help and uh, you you had told me because you know you we you can, and it's imperative that like even if high schoolers want to help out they should, but not when distributing to people who come right. in. Right, there are opportunities and what they yeah. when are you, when, when the availability is and there are times it could be a Saturday like with the day the post office does their collection it's um you know it's a Saturday and the postal workers drive up to town hall empty yeah. out all the bags and oh that's great yeah so I mean those are the type of things and. You know, I used, like the kind. We always appreciate young muscles. So. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> so. no, but it seems like and it's beautiful because there are a lot of retirees. A lot of people don't know uh, what they want to do, or they're just a member of the church, or they're just yeah. kind of like good citizens, and yeah. they just want to help out. Yeah, but and, you need. And you know, that gets us to. You know, we've been talking. People. We've been talking about the food. I, mean, I had the list here of what. You know, oh, other non. Yeah, yeah. No, we, no, I mean, we have. We, we talked about neighbor neighbor, but you know, we yeah. have. Um, yeah, you know, we do this. Going. We have a clothing store, if you will. Yeah, you um, sent pictures about it. Yeah, too, yeah, it's over. It's based out of the Martin's Pond Baptist Church. In fact, just this year, just last week, um, the company recycled that. And they have boxes. They're like a textile clothing oh, okay. collection. Um, Matt Libby is a North Reading resident and manages that locally um, for um, Recycle That. And he, what their company has done now they collect all these clothing, and, and what they're doing is pulling out winter coats and boots and hats and yeah, gloves right now? Yeah. and identifying organizations that are trying to help people. And so we got an inventory, if you will. We had tables of winter children's winter coats, various sizes, hats and gloves, all types of boots, you know, various sizes. And that's based out of the Martin's Pond uh, Church. There's a store there, so if a client's or if somebody's in need of, of winter clothing for whatever, you know, they can contact us and we can we'll, we can help them out. I mean, those are the type of, that's the type of thing we do. We do holiday, you know, I oh, think yeah, if holiday you've had a student, meals, yeah. if, you have, if you're the parent of a student in the Batchelder or Little School, you're mm -hmm. familiar with this. The Batchelder School, uh, for, for as long as I've been involved, is doing Thanksgiving dinners. They box up these food, yeah, they all the fixings the for a Thanksgiving yeah. dinner. We have the turkeys. And the client, each client gets a, anywhere from a 12 to 15 pound turkey and a box of all the fixings. You know, the company uh, Thanksgiving meal and, and enough for the leftovers. And, 
and they we distribute that uh, bef before Thanksgiving, and the little schools are doing it uh, for th for Christmas, and oh, it's the yeah. same. It's the same thing. So and you give out gift certificates. Uh, yeah, for, Easter uh, became Easter, a little yeah. more. It just became more of a challenge, and we we're. It was becoming very. Uh, it was easier for us. Uh, just people have different tastes. Do you want a hand? Do you want? Do you want? Oh, yeah, so you we were just. Me about that, so yeah. we just. So we just give said, them. here's. We give them. Um, a, we've been giving them a gift card for Easter, and let the client decide what they want to do if they want to. You know, use it as they see fit. So. No, that, and um, that's, that helps. But it's a food. Yeah. It's a gift card to either stop or shop or market basket. So yeah. it's. Hopefully, it's going to food and keeping keeping people fed. So, yeah. you know, so. No, but that's, those are big things, like uh, getting clothing for the winter and for uh, various holiday feasts. Yeah. And like you said, you also have uh, leftovers from that. Yeah. And just try uh, all the services at the North Pan uh, North yeah. Reading Food Pantry or any food and pantry. You, you just made me think of another one. Oh, was the Christmas. Um, the Oh, people yeah, that's take right. a tag program like a Toys for Tots. It's, yeah, thing. it's yeah. run by those are people who are volunteer with, uh, with are affiliated with the Christian Community Service and and the people take the tag and they buy these gifts and the clients come and pick them up and that's and great, we man. provide them with wrapping paper so these kids can get you know these kids you know get something something on Christmas morning that otherwise they may not be able you know the, obviously the parents are can't afford or can't provide and and so it makes for a nice christmas and uh yeah. you know it's uh it's a nice touch and, uh, i don't know it is i mean on top of like, you're providing services that go beyond um uh just merely feeding people and yeah. i think uh, one of the things is a person who loves to eat as per my gut suggests but um both my uh, physical and mental gut but you know they, they're so enriching things yeah and, and to believe that people can provide and uh, be a part of something come together and help a community out which yeah. People look at North Reading or Reading, they'll be like, oh, they're affluent, you know, uh, or like, you know, upper, uh, vaguely affluent communities. Yep. And you don't think about people who are on the fringe yeah. or just like are just getting by. And it's important for people to realize that you need this everywhere, wherever you are, not just the cities, yeah. but the suburbs and surrounding yeah, exactly, towns. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. You know, and you know, one of the, with the, on the Christmas shopping theme, one of the things we do uh, the week before Christmas and people donate stuff and or whatever there's gifts yeah and the kids get to come in the of the families get to come in and do shop for their parents oh. for the adults so they oh, get to pick cool. out something <clears throat> you know whether it's a red Sox hat or yeah. a book or whatever can oh, a yankee nice. candle and they get to pick it out and we wrap it for them right there and the kids walk out. They're proud. They're yeah. beaming that they got they got a present. And the parent we give. we kind of distract the parents away from the area, so there's a surprise <laughs> yeah. on Christmas morning. You know, no, it's so it's great. great. Yeah, no, that's so. great. And uh, once again, uh, you can. Or is there anything else you'd like to add to? Um, we covered quite a bit in that. We did. Yeah, I'm trying we to did. think if there's anything. I don't think. No, no, that was I, pretty I just good. think it's a, it's a volunteer organization. Yeah. You know. And you can uh, contact you via yeah, the website. Yeah, contact if you share. You know, we once in a while we put out with a shopping list of what we need. Yeah. But just you know, I always say it's it's quality food and you know personal care items, household cleaners, goods. You know, that's those are the type of things we you know think what's going on in your house. They have the same thing, especially people with children. Yeah. Um, you know, and it doesn't necessarily. I, I laugh sometimes. We have some uh, clients who are senior citizens living by themselves. And we and think of a jar of mayonnaise. You know, the 32 ounce jar of mayonnaise is yeah. like, you know, it's going to last them how many decades? And, sure. You know, getting a smaller. It doesn't necessarily have to be the big family size containers. No. The smaller ones work just as well too. So it's um, especially if they go back every two weeks. Right. And it's like, like you know, we. I used to tell Sandy. She goes, we need coffee and tea. I said, we need coffee, regular and decaf. And instant, regular, and decaf. You yeah. know, it's it's like those type of things. We don't need the fancy stuff, but it's like not just you know. It's like there are some people, I, you know, when they see a decaf coffee, they're happy because that's what they drink, and yeah. it's just you know. No, too. It's a variety. Yeah. Just I mean, back to what you said earlier about think of what your ki uh, like your kids are eat or you yep. eat, and what is a nice, nutritious meal, and what the uh, Greater Boston Food Bank says to people like, hey, we want yep. to. We don't just want to feed these kids <clears throat> junk. We want to feed uh, these. Family junk. We want to feed them yeah. something nutritious. Because even for me, like uh, someone who can uh, can go on and and you know time and time, well, <laughs> time enough to afford a meal. 
but uh, like I, I like to eat. It's it's weird. It's odd and expensive to eat healthy. Yeah. Like if you really want to get produce, fresh yep. produce and yep. other stuff, it can get expensive. So anytime you can curb that cost yep. for anyone, that's right. important. Yeah, and I, I think people should realize too. We are all volunteer. Yeah, um, yeah the whole staff. The whole, is every, there's no there is no paid. No one's getting earning anything. <laughs> no. Um, working there, and you know, all of less than one percent, you know, ninety nine point something of whatever's donated gets put into the program. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we have to buy. We have some admin mad, admin costs to maintain the website and a cell phone. You know, maybe you postage. Do you have to maintain the fridge, or do you have to pay for the or delay the, the fridge, town hall? The town takes care. Town takes, covers. You know, like, that that cost. So. Yeah. Um, you know, so I mean, it's like you know, we, we have we have a few expenses that we have to pay for on a monthly basis. But you know, like I said, more than ninety nine percent of what people donated, like at the neighbor helping neighbor fund, is going to help neighbors. You know, it's it's some the, we put that money to use in a very as I explained in very different ways and various forms and uh, trying to help people. You know. You have uh, go to bed with a meal and just don't go to bed hungry and yeah. have the heat on and have a roof over your head. So. No, no, that and that's beautiful, man. And I forget you guys don't do any scholarships or anything like that. No. I forget, no, because no, that's it's just no. beyond, yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, no, it's that's fantastic. Yeah. And I guess check out the website uh, at the food pantry. Uh, is it food pantry North Running Food Pantry dot com? I, I believe we'll it's put NR, a graphic. And our food pantry dot org, I think. I, I believe you're right. Yeah, because it's a nonprofit. Yep. And you can check them out on Facebook. And um, North Reading Food Pantry, it's on Facebook. Yep. And you can check out, uh, there is an uh, email address you can get to. Yep. And there also is a phone number, and we'll lay this all out. And that's on the website over. and on the Facebook. So you can either oh, way, so you can do it. We get messages on Facebook a lot, too. So yeah, of course. if you're on Facebook, you can like, like the page, and then if you need to send a message, we'll get to it. You know. So there's a couple of us watching it. And yeah. Sometimes I don't know the answer, and I hope it's one of <laughs> yeah. my colleagues knows. But uh, oh, we'll take care of it. Will, somebody get gets back, back to you. Yeah, we yeah. stay. It's not like it won't be months. So no, and that's great. And uh, teenagers who are in high school, if you have community service hours you need to fulfill, uh, fulfill North Reading Food Pantry. Let us know. It's uh, yeah, might, yeah, it's so enriching work. So thank you again, Ed. Thank you, Phil. Appreciate it. No worries. And check out those websites, and yeah, give back to the community because you know it's your civic duty. Mm -hmm.